Right, hey guys, I'm here with a brand new class tutorial on Dragonite. This class can be obtained through um, getting Founder in the new app game they have created called Battle Jams. You can get it for around 10 United States dollars, so it's, I guess you would say pricey, but the game itself, if you guys have played the app, it's really amazing and I enjoy it so far. It's a great RPG puzzle game. So I'll show you guys the shop real quick that you can unlock once you get the founder status. Right, so let's see. Alright, so in the shop they have a Dragon Knight Great Blade. It's alright, in my opinion. Dragon Knight Split Blade. It's pretty cool. Dragon Knight Class, that's really amazing. The Armor Dragon Knight. The helm, another helm, um, some wings and a tail, a tail, and then just the wings alone, which is all right, you know. It's a pretty okay shop. Personally, I think the class really makes up for it, and it's really nice. So I'll show you guys the skills now. Oh yeah, for all those who are wondering about Battle Gems, it's a really nice game. You guys should get it. It's free on the App Store. And personally, I don't you don't really need to be a founder unless you want to play it like every second of the day cuz pretty much it's unlimited energy and stuff. Okay, so I'll show you guys my stats and stuff. So, attack power 74, spell power 728. I'm using pure stable because it's really awesome with stable. So my strength is 28, intellect is 152, endurance is 92, dexterity is 51, wisdom 69, luck 69. So my hit rate, um, hit percentage is 97.36. My haste is 18.05, my critical is 26.47, my evasion is 16.61. Really decent. So, I'll show you the first skill, which is called Dragon's Fire. So pretty much, you do a dot to your enemy, and then it makes it so your spell blade, which is your auto attack, it makes it able so it starts stacking up. Like I don't know what it really like the exact name, but it kind of it's called I believe Dragon Fire the attack. So here I'll show you. So I do that, and then each auto attack adds start stacking up for dragon's fire and I'm critting insanely hard so you guys can already see with pure stable I'm critting 1302 and it does a dot so I'll show you guys again so I have a 29 dot going 69 so for each hit the dot just raises and like just keeps going up and it's really nice okay so it's really nice during boss battles too so the second skill is Dragon's Might. So this is pretty much has the same concept as the first skill, but this time it just has a chance to stun your opponent for two seconds. And the stun, I mean, this is an okay skill for PvP and stuff. Don't rely on it too much. I would prefer to rely on the first skill way more often. But this skill, you know, might as well. There's always those times where you get lucky or the game changer. Okay, so third skill is Sword Play. It's it deals light damage and reduces your opponent's chance to hit with Master Swordplay. So pretty much you deal light damage and reduce your opponent's hit like chance to hit, so hit chance. And also I believe it reduces damage for a certain amount of time as if you make them unarmed. So yeah, pretty decent skill. You you really want to keep using it. So yeah, I got disarmed now. It, I believe it makes their damage lower. So, using this class, you really want that skill to be really active. Really active and just there in the background. So, make sure it's usually on. Alright, so our last skill is the nuke. Oh, yeah, you guys know that. The class is with the nuke. So, this nuke has 46 mana and just does tons of money. I mean, wow, why did I say money? Sorry, sorry guys. It does tons of damage. So, I mean, nothing really special, it just does tons of damage, so, boom, 2.8k, instantly, you know, some good stuff. 
So yeah, it's really good. And here, if you guys stack it with your first skill, it even does higher damage. So let me just bring this guy over here. Come here. Okay. Just wait until it stacks a little bit more, you know. Oh, oops, I killed him. It's okay though. So, the skill normally just is like 2.8k with pure stable. And it's really good. And if you stack with the first skill, so I'll try and show you guys again real quick. I won't kill it this time, I promise. Hopefully. Okay, there. Oh, I did non crit, but see how my non crit was just. It went from 900 something to 1k, yeah. So each stack, it just makes it higher. So, things I recommend for this class, I would go 3 wizard, 1 luck. Do not go full luck on this class. It's actually based on spell power this time, compared to the last class I actually did a review on. So this class, I would prefer you guys to go stable. Unstable is alright, but it's really random with this class, and I would not recommend it. I would recommend pure stable, as stable as you can, so like something like this, 198 to 198 or something, and that's really good. So to use this class, pretty much, in solos I recommend just to stack this skill, so the dragon's fire, and make sure you get tons of stacks and start spamming the last skill like, like you guys usually do. And then in PvP, I would use your last skill as often as you can, and I would use your third skill and then well, third skill for the stuns, and second skill, if you guys, like, the guy has, like, low HP or something, you want to get a dot on him, just get him off. And fourth skill, just whenever you have mana, but this class might be using mana quite a bit if you don't crit at times. So, that's pretty much up for this class. I hope you guys enjoy this review, and I hope you guys enjoy the new game Battle Gems. So, right, later guys. Hope you enjoy it.